we are maintaining a big armed forces, not with the expectation of war. No one does that. No one likes war. Even a very staunch hardliner also probably would say that as far as possible it is not, maybe his trigger is uh, faster towards war, but war is the last option for everyone. In spite of that, we spend 341,000 crores for the maintenance of defence force in the country. And this is they have been doing for last 68 years. Why do we do that? It is an eventuality which requires us to do this. Same way, the requirement of defence forces forces us to create capabilities build capabilities for certain products which may not be required continuously by us. This expertise which is built up cannot be retained by a private sector because it costs. Like for example, there was one missile, anti-tank missile, which we, had, we required, but we had, we had to retain the capacity, pay the workers, for almost a year till we the final the order mature. A private sector would have just closed down the project and say that we no more manufacture this particular type of design. A particular type of ammunition may be required once in three years. For two years, the OFB has to retain the capability, retain the technology, retain the manpower who are trained on it, retain the machine as it is without being used. Many times it happens to so, retain, retaining Ordnance Factory Boards and Defence PSU for certain products is a necessity of the Defence Forces, just like we maintain Defence Forces as a necessity of the country for the security of the country. I think I am clear on the issue. It's not possible that 100% of the product can be put up in the private sector, because in private sector, the moment I cease to give you orders, you are going to ask me what do I do next or you will close down. It is only government which can afford to sustain such capabilities, capacities which are created for numbers, number of years for a future requirement. Karge ji, please ek minute. Kya baat kar rahe Koi nahi baat kar rahe hain. Aap mujhe, aap usse, aap unse baat karne aaye ho ya mujhe kuch keh rahe ho? Pehle decide.